So you're new to fitness, or you're just cheap, or you just don't know any better, you poor bastard. Well, Walmart's got you covered. Or do they? Find out on today's episode of Texas Flex. So $75 for 100 pounds of dumbbells. Like they don't sound like actual iron or iron plates. <sighs> Alright, so here at Walmart, just want you guys to see that I'm actually here, actually grabbing this stuff today of all days. And uh, well, this is how easy it is to build a home gym under $500, okay? At Walmart. Try not to get caught here. <laughs> Alright, so first thing we're gonna grab is the weights. Um, this barbell and weights come as a set, so we're gonna grab this right now. We're also gonna grab two of these. This is gonna be our rack. No price, so we'll just see what it comes out to. Oh yeah, by the way, these two are 60. This one's 120, okay? So at first I was gonna get, grab this flat bench at $49, but I did come down here, down the aisle a little bit. As you can see there, they're fully stocked, man. So if you need something, come down to Walmart. I think all the rubber-coated dumbbells are from the same company. They just branded differently. We're gonna go ahead and grab this bench. All right, so we're back home in the garage gym. We have all the stuff set up. It took maybe like two and a half hours to assemble throughout the day, but about two and a half hours. And we have a 110 pound barbell set from CAC. It cost 120 bucks or 119 bucks if you want to be as correct as possible. We have two extra sets of 50 pounds, so four 25s altogether, that cost $60 each, so that's another 120 bucks. We have the XRS 20 squat stand, and that was 50 bucks, so not that bad of a value. The XRS 20 weeder uh, adjustable bench for another 50 bucks. And then dumbbells from five to 20 pounds for 75 bucks. All together, I'm not sure exactly how much it cost. I kind of forgot, but it was like 460 bucks. I also got like batteries and oil for my mower and some other things that I needed for the house. So the price isn't super accurate, but I'll put that on the screen right now. All right, so that that way you guys don't give me crap about that. Um, but anyways, let's get into an in-depth review of all of these things that you got from Walmart for less than 500 bucks. So look, let's be honest here. You've probably heard this at least once or twice. Buy once, cry once, all right? I can't agree with that statement more, okay? <laughs> this is not what this video is about. This video, like I said in the intro, is for the people that are either cheap or new to fitness and this is good enough, or three, um, you just don't know any better and you need to be swayed in another direction, okay? I had this, almost exactly this setup, uh, starting out in 2018 and it served me well. Yeah, I mean, I beat this stuff to the ground, or at least I tried to, and it still worked by the time I ended up selling it. That I, ju I just had to say that before I get started reviewing any of this stuff before, you know, well, I don't get any comments, so I don't really have to worry about that. But I had to get it out there anyways, okay? So now we can start. All right, so let's start with the rack, okay? You're going to probably spend a lot of time here. Um, again, can't say this enough, there are better racks. Not for this price, you're going to pay more, but there are better racks, <laughs> okay? Can't say that enough, all right? Cool. So. They did upgrade this by adding a sticker <laughs> on the rack, <laughs> but then they downgraded it by having um, screws instead of bolts uh, to you know hold these up. And I'll show you why that makes a difference. The, the other rack, the rack that I had originally, did move, but it didn't move this much. Look at that, man. <laughs> That's crazy. 
So, like I said, not, not the best rack, but uh, later on in this video, we'll kind of test the capacity on it, okay? Um, I can't squat the most weight, uh, but I can at least walk out 300 pounds so that you can see um, both the weight capacity on this bar, which I'll be reviewing later on in this video, and uh, the capacity on this rack, which I'm reviewing right now. So this is what the rack looks like. I thought I'd pick up the camera and give you guys some shots here. Um, as you can see, it has safety spotter arms, but they're, they're pretty short. That's, that's my hand, I'm 5'5", five five. I'm not, my hands aren't super blessed. So yeah, think about that. And there's the screws that I was talking about instead of these bolts, why they would do away with that, I don't know. Then it has some storage, standard size. It does not come with uh, the Olympic adjustments or upgrades. Uh, and then this thing right here holds it together. That's the sticker I was talking about. Um, I would have preferred if they had no sticker and continued to use the bolts to hold that up. Why they would spend the money on a sticker and not the bolt. Just one extra bolt is, well, beyond me. So the Weeder Adjustable Bench or XRS20 um, has these attachments. It has the leg developer, which is just a leg extension and leg curl. And then it has the preacher curl attachments that I find I use on my version, the Proform version, a lot. Then over here, you can see that it adjusts using this little device. And I'll call it a device because uh, I don't have the right word in mind. So that's how you adjust the incline of the adjustable bench. It's not quite 90 degrees. Uh, I think if you're looking to do shoulder press, you might be a little further back than ideal. But again, I mean, for the price, it's going to be an okay bench. Um, can't really say too much else, so I'll just roll the next clip. Say what you will about the quality or how good of a bench it is, it's rated for 300 pounds. Keep in mind that that includes your weight, the user weight. Um, so probably closer to like 100, maybe 150 pounds. I wouldn't go super heavy on this bench. Again, this is an option for somebody who's just starting out or somebody who just wants to be really cheap, like myself, okay? <laughs> so keep that in mind. It, I think that this bench has some value with the whole leg developer and curl attachment and it being an adjustable bench, but the caveat is the quality, okay? Um, you, you just have to accept that if you're going for this option. Look, I'm not gonna talk a lot about these dumbbells. Um, they go from five to 20. Retail is like 150 bucks. You're gonna overpay if you pay retail. Uh, but I got them on clearance for 75. $75 for 100 pounds of dumbbells. Um, it's decent enough to where it doesn't really matter. I will say the best thing about this dumbbell set is probably the dumbbell tree. And not by design, mind you. Uh, the design sucks because, you know, you can pretty much only fit your fingers and not close your hand. Um, and that's for, again, somebody who's 5'5". Five five. So not super ideal there, but the paint job is just fantastic. I mean, this thing is great. It looks beautiful. Other than that, it sucks. All right, so what can I say about these weights and this bar? that will sway you in a different direction. That's right, I don't like them. So the weights, all right, the weights are getting a bad rap. Um, they're okay, they, they have this weird, like they don't sound like actual iron or iron plates, um, which sucks, but I mean, they're weights, they're change plates basically. I mean, the 25s, 10s, and 5s, um, it's just weight, man, at the end of the day. I think you're okay there. Um, the price is maybe outside of where you would want to pay, but reasonable still. 
and the barbell itself is trash. It's just complete trash. Spend your money somewhere else. But if you, like this whole video is what can you get at Walmart for under 500 bucks? This is it, all right? Don't expect the best. This is a 30 pound barbell and its capacity says 300 pounds, but because it's a three piece barbell, you literally have to put this thing together. <sighs> I don't know if it can hold that. So let's test it out. All right, so if you include the barbell, that's 300 pounds. What do you guys think? Go up, leave a comment down below before you start watching the rest of this video. Leave a comment down below. Should we go up? All right, so is it just me or is this, is this bending? Yeah, I think it's, all right, all right. So the barbell is starting to bend right here on this side. And now that I look at it in the mirror, I think this side is bending too. So I'd say 300 pounds is the capacity, all right? Uh, don't try any more than that. I'm certainly not going to. Um, I'm still afraid that one of these things is just gonna pop out of it. So again, don't build a barbell, okay? Have it already completely assembled with like bearings or bushings or something because this ain't it, all right? The squat rack is holding up. It's actually more stable now. Go figure. So that's it. You got your barbell, you got your weights, you got your squat rack, you got your adjustable bench, and you got a starter set of dumbbells for under 500 bucks at Walmart in store. You could probably go there today and get all this stuff for that exact price. You're an adult, you can make your own decisions, but hopefully I have informed you enough to sway you in the right direction, whether it be to buy this stuff and save some money uh, in the short term, or buy some better stuff, invest in yourself, invest in your garage gym and make it last a little bit longer. I don't care, I'm just here to let you guys know that this stuff isn't the best, but it'll work for a little bit of time. <laughs> Till next time, I'll see you guys at the next flex.